When the following equation is balanced, what are the coefficients? So let's start by writing the elements that are in play here. We have aluminum, nitrogen, oxygen, sodium, and sulfur. And we write down how many are on each side. So we have one aluminum, three nitrogen, nine, two, one. And note how we have three nitrogens on the left side. You only see one, but you have this three here that you have to multiply it by. So those are the reactants. On the product side, we have two, one, three, one, three. So let's get going. Sulfur is all by herself right here, and there's three of them. So let's go ahead and multiply this by three. So we now have three sulfurs there. That's nice. And now we have six sodiums. So we have to put that there. All right, this makes the next step look a little straightforward. Let's look at sodium. There's six now on the left, and there's only one on the right. Let's go ahead and multiply that by six. So we'll put a six here. So we now have six sodiums. We have, let's see, six nitrogens. So that goes over here. And we have 18 oxygens, right? Six times three is 18. So here's oxygen. And now let's go to aluminum. We have two aluminums on the right side, on the products, and only one on the left. So let's go ahead and multiply that by two and see what that gets us. Okay, so we have two aluminums on the left side. And that makes how many nitrogens now? Well, there's three times two is six. So that's good. And how many oxygens now? Three times three is nine times two is 18. And how about that? We have the same amount of elements on each side. So our coefficients will be two, three, one, six. The answer is A.